Hey, Mike. How's it going, Sean? Pretty good, pretty good. Um, I brought something for us. You got a nice little present from uh, San Francisco. So. Yes, I uh, managed to trade a heady topper on my last uh, business trip to San Francisco for some for two bottles of um, Alpine Brewing, which I've never actually heard of, but I hear is rather delicious. And from looking them up, I'm really glad I made the trade. They're, um, oh, this- Session India Pale Ale called Hoppy Birthday. Actually, just look at the. the I did. It's pretty bad. <laughs> the ass. label's pretty awesome, actually. Um, yeah, so it's five point two five percent. The most celebrated beer in the world. Truth is, everyone has a birthday, and when you want to celebrate, this session IPA is a gift to the senses. Made with six different hops, this bull brew is refreshing enough to enjoy again and again. Now make a wish and blow out the candles, but don't tell anyone or your wish won't come true. Drink Alpine Ale or go to bed. Well, I was excited. (laughs) Big honking bottle opener doing its thing. Pure hoppiness. (laughs) <laughs> that's pretty badass. Oh, that's awesome. These guys rule. So All right, so, that, so the head's pretty good. Yeah, this is a nice fluffy head, too. Yeah, and the lacing's sticking for something that that, 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 that low ABV, right? Yeah. So this is like a tangerine, burnt orange type color. Yeah. Nicely uh, unfiltered. Yep. Ish. Yeah, unfiltered. Whoa. For a five point, in a, for a five and a quarter percent, that's got some. It's got a lovely nose on it. Very nice. Um, Candied fruits for sure. Yep. It's very sweet. Almost reminds me of like, um, like the Ninja vs. Unicorns of a sunshine. A little bit, a little, a little less explosive though. Yeah. You know, but the same kind of character for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you're getting like citrus, you know, pine. I'm almost getting like a like a caramel kind of a a little um, bit, yeah. Yep. I literally just went up my nose. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can get some grapefruit, some yeah, butter, yeah. grass. Maybe I'm definitely getting a lot more like a, uh, now I'm getting a lot more like the, the candied fruit you mentioned yeah. earlier. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more than I would normally get on any other session IPA for sure. Yeah, it, it's it get that really that that um, the sugary sweetness. Almost. Yeah, yeah, very yeah, sugary sweetness. That's the perfect way to put it. Yeah. Um, should we take a sip? Yeah, let's do it, sir. Cheers. Cheers, sir. A little more malt than I was expecting, but it dissipates quickly. Yeah. Um. I think, you know, um, with the lower alcohol, you get less of the malt turning into, uh, into, you know, alcohol. Mm-hmm. So you don't get more malt character. It's it's very much um, a session IPA. Um, but if I would say it's definitely more of the, one of the hoppier ones I've had. Yes, a little bitter on the back. Yeah, you're getting bitterness. Um, I got some grapefruit, some pine, bitterness. A little bit of grapefruit. Um, I was quickly going through some of the reviews on Beer Advocate mm-hmm. and a few things. Like they mentioned, uh, like pear, and I really don't. Go, I don't get pear in here. I saw that in a couple of reviews. I like pears, but again, pears is the same. The same thing with like, I would do with with honeydew. It's like really hard. Pears are hard to pick out. Yeah, um, unless they're like um, flame broiled or candied or whatever. Because yeah, they're sweeter. Yeah, they, they, the, 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 yeah. their flavor comes out. Yeah, I know. Um, but there's, there's no booziness, which is nice. No, this is definitely like a, like a, a summer afternoon type beer. Yeah. You know? Um, has a lot more character than like uh, than like what my go to um, session IPA is like a all day IPA for sure. Or whatever. This is a lot more character to it, mm-hmm. um, but definitely um, not overwhelming. You can drink a lot of these if you so choose. Yeah, um, it's very good. Um, I just like my IPA is a little more explosive. Yeah, we're, we're, again, this is this is West Coast. We're so used to East Coast, so it's like uh, that's part of. it. I used to love the West Coast style like a lot, and like more and more, I'm dialing myself back, right? But like, 
Well, it's like the East Coast took the West Coast style and uh, and they just made it a little more obnoxious. <laughs> You know? They made it better. Just say it. <laughs> well, I mean, it, no, depends, I it depends on what you're looking for. You know, yeah. what, we're, what we're looking for in an IPA is a lot more like obnoxious is a good word for it because it's yeah. definitely not balanced. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this definitely has like, yeah, it's definitely more, um, it's, it's, it's definitely complex. It's got a lot of stuff going on. There's definitely different layers. Yep. You know, and it's a little bit like you're getting like, um, Kind of floral notes a little bit, and at the very end, I get like the sweetness. I get the fruits. Mm-hmm. So there's definitely layer upon layer of um, different things you can get in this in this in this brew. Yeah, it's really nice. It's just um, like I said, it's it's just not explosive like I like my IPAs. You know, but if they put this in like twelve ounce cans, yeah, it would replace all day IPA for me. For oh yeah, sure. for sure, of course. You know, it's very good. I, I this is probably a, a, among the the better uh, session IPAs, session, yeah. yeah, and it's five point two percent. But I guess like what's like you were saying earlier, like what's the real, what's the what makes it a session? Like I, I've seen some place call it a, call a session IPA and it was seven percent. It was like I think they're just being cheeky, but like I approve. Yeah, <laughs> I think anything <laughs> under six is fine for me. Yeah, I think I think once you get to six point, once you get to six percent, it's hard to justify, you know. But I think they generally accept it as like about five percent. So I feel like usually with session IPAs, you get like um, it's not a you get them all, but there's something there's a flavor that I can't pick out. Like I get it a lot, and it's just like a weird like malt flavor that comes with it. Sean, I think you're talking about water. (laughs) Fair (laughs) enough. Fair enough. Mm. Um, Yeah, this is a pleasant surprise. Like I I I definitely had high hopes for it, and I'm not let down. Um, Nope. Because you know, going in if if it's, if they're calling it a session, but with six hops, you're getting the bitterness for sure. You're getting oh, all for the, sure. Yeah, you're getting yeah. you're tasting them all. But like, I don't think they have they said what what the hops are. I don't think it's uh, announced. Is it? No, I don't think so. I think you're right. Um, and I, I don't have experience enough palate to pick them out. You know. Yeah. If it was maybe, I don't know. You want to bother trying? Yeah. <laughs> um. Well. So what what would you give this for? Let's try to rate this on the. On the uh, for the style, not not our our our, our taste buds. Is session IPA a style? Yeah, for sure. Oh yeah, session IPA is definitely a style. I would say. Okay, I mean I I, would, I mean I don't know I mean. All right, or or, or if you want, okay, if if you were to rate this just on your normal scale, what would you give this? I I mean I'd probably give us a four. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, uh, this isn't something I would be running to the store for all the time you know no of course not no but uh not something i would ever turn away do you feel like this would be a good turn on for non-ipa drinkers no yeah you're probably right too much it's it, yeah it, it, it's it's clearly an ipa it's not like uh <laughs> if you don't like hops you don't like you know those uh those citrus citrus notes and the bitterness and that refreshing IPA taste, you're not going to like this beer. Yeah. That would be silly. Um, be, because as far as session IPAs go, so to speak, this is the most like an IPA that I've had. Probably. That's that. That's a very good way to put it. Like, none of them have really been... I would say next to this would probably be Pinner for me. Oh, Pinner's good, too. Yeah. Pinner's good, but I would say, yeah, this is probably the closest. That Yeah, uh, yeah it's even better than... than I, I would definitely pick this over... Um, Lost in Super Session number two for sure. Oh, for sure. Already yeah. Um, yeah, so Nerd Sense four. Yep. Yeah. Um, so yeah, guys, if you if you get this, um, if you can get this um, wherever you are, I from what I hear, it doesn't leave San Diego too often. But um, yeah, Happy Birthday by Alpine Brewing, uh, five and a quarter percent. We're gonna give this a Nerd Sense four. Um, check out NerdSense.net, the website. Uh, hit subscribe, um, like this video, comment if you had it before. Let us know. Like. I'd be really curious to see what other people think about this, especially hopheads, what they think about this in um, regards to other sessions. Um, any final thoughts? No, sir. Cool. Well, I'm Sean. And I'm Mike. And, and this, this is Nerd Sense Drinks. Drinks.